Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Self English program. Hello, Self English learners. How are you? Well, I am very good, very happy. I am going to share in this moment a video with you, which is very, very important. It's about the birth to be. Uh, for me, it was very, very difficult. I remember when I was in high school, it was very difficult for me to understand the birth to be. Nowadays, I see that the verb to be is very easy to understand. So, let's get it started. Alright. Uh, para mí fue muy difícil entender el verbo to be cuando estaba en el colegio. No sé, siendo tan fácil, ¿por qué me costó tanto? Vamos a ver ahorita, sí, eh, algunas cosas importantísimas con respecto al verbo to be. Vamos a ver eh, lo más importante y cómo podemos utilizarlo de la forma, de la forma apropiada, de la forma correcta. Okay, first of all, we are going to see what is it, right? What is it? What is the birth to be? Then we're going to work with some characteristics. Uh, we're going to say that the birth to be has different forms. Uh, it means two different things in Spanish. It has different uses. And uh, it is an extraordinary verb because it doesn't need an auxiliary. All the verbs in English need an auxiliary, but the verb to be does not need it all right uh, we're going to see how to use the verb to be in present in past and whatever um, else is important we are going to go through it all right el verbo to be vamos a ver características que es y otras cosas bien bien importantes okay empecemos what is it first of all what is it what is the verb to be the verb to be is just another verb it's otro verbo, but it has certain unique characteristics. It has certain unique characteristics such as, right? Algunas características que lo hacen único. It means two different things in Spanish. Ser y estar. O sea, ¿Qué tiene que ver ser y estar? Well, in English, it's only one verb. The verb to be. Okay? And uh, besides, it is the only verb that doesn't need an auxiliary. Right? As I said before. Todos los verbos necesitan un auxiliary, but the verb to be does not need it. All right, but let's continue. Um, okay, good. Characteristics. It has different forms. It has different forms in present, and it has different forms in past. But in present, it has am, is, are. All right? Esto es único. No hay otro verbo en inglés. Que tenga tres formas diferentes en, 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 en el presente. Por lo general los verbos en presente, al no ser en la tercera persona, que se le agrega una S o se le agrega una E y una S a veces. Eh, pero todos los demás verbos son, digamos, el presente es, es, es una sola forma. En inglés, oh, the verb to be has three different forms. Am, is, are. Right? Am only for I. I am. Or it has a contraction. I am. Right? I am or I am. Okay, we use is for she, he, or it. So we say she is, he is, or it is. We also have contractions. She is, his, or its. And we use are for the plural nouns, for the plural pronouns. They, we, you. They are, we are, you are. All right, oh, we have contractions. There, we're, your. All right. So, uh, so we can say, example, I am a doctor, or I can say, I'm a doctor. Right. I am intolerant, or I'm intolerant. You see, that's 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 interesting. Yo soy un doctor. Yo estoy. Entilaran. In English, it's the same. It's am. She is happy. Or she is. You can say she is happy. They are here. Or they're here. All right? Good. Okay. What about the negative form? Right? What about the negative? How can we make negative statements in English using the verb to be. Okay, it's very, very simple. I am not a doctor. I am not. I am not intolerant. She is not happy. 
or she isn't isn't happy which is more common uh, like this isn't right she isn't happy she is not es lo mismo que decir she isn't y es más común el isn't all right but they are not here they aren't here okay we say aren't they aren't here right this is more common than uh, are not right we say aren't good estamos claros hasta acá very good okay no so this is the negative form the negative form uh, of the verb to be okay let's continue okay now how about questions right how to make a question using the verb to be in the in in the present form am is are eh, que fácil. am i a doctor am i in tilleran is she happy are they here que fue lo que hicimos lo único que hicimos fue eh, el, el pronombre que estaba al principio el, lo trajimos luego del verbo y el verbo que estaba luego del pronombre en su forma afirmativa lo llevamos al principio so we say am i a doctor am i in tilleran is she happy are they here are you uh, happy are you paying attention etc okay okay that was regarding the present but what about the past all right in the past the verb to be has only two forms was and where right it, it is interesting in present it has three is am are but in past it only has two was and where all right so we use was for i was she was he was it was recuerde que cualquiera de estos pronombres se puede sustituir por por, por alguien verdad en vez de decir she decimos maría decimos maría was en vez de decir he decimos pedro pedro was en vez de decir it decimos la computadora entonces decimos the computer was all right and we use where for the plural forms where they were we were you were all right they puede ser maría y luis maría and luis where they puede ser la computadora y la silla the computer and the chair where all right and remember that you you in english is singular and it's plural Okay, es singular y es plural. You significa usted y también significa ustedes. All right? So, only two forms for the past. Okay, let's look at some examples. Examples. I was in Heredia yesterday. All right? Yo estaba, yo estuve. Uh, usted puede decir también, she was in Heredia yesterday. Or, uh, uh, Julio was in Heredia yesterday. All right? And she was very worried. El otro uso. Él está, eh, yo estaba. Ella um, no, también en este caso estaba. She was very worried. We were studying English. Right. Uh, ¿Qué es la diferencia entre acá esta oración, esta otra y la última? Bien, básicamente que aquí, aparte de que tenemos el verbo where, una forma pasada del verbo to be, tenemos otro verbo, otro verbo que es study, study con ing. Esto se llama una forma progresiva. Existen formas progresivas en presente, en pasado y en futuro. Ahorita les voy a hablar un poquitito más de esto cuando llegue a los diferentes usos uh, del verbo to be. All right? So, clear, right? In past, only was and where. Okay, let's continue. Okay, what happens in the negative form of the verb to be in past? All right, very simple. I was not or wasn't. All right, lo mismo. Wasn't es más común que decir was not. I was not or I wasn't in Heredia yesterday. Yo no estuve. Yo no estaba en Heredia ayer. She was not very worried. And we were not studying English. Nosotros no estábamos estudiando inglés. All right? So that is the negative. And finally, what about questions? Right? ¿Cómo se hace una pregunta en pasado utilizando el verbo to be? Exactly the same as in the present. Was I in Heredia yesterday? Estuve yo en Heredia ayer. Was she very worried? 
where we study in English, right? The same thing, the pronoun goes after the verb, and the verb comes before the pronoun, and that's it, all right? Good. Okay, some other characteristics of the verb to be. Okay, uh, it has different uses. Okay, basically we use the, the verb to be, we use it in the present simple or past simple. Example, she is sad. This is present simple, right? She is sad. Present simple. All right, they were in the capital. Okay, this is past simple. They were. Why simple? ¿Por qué le llamamos simple? Porque no hay ningún otro verbo. Vea que está solito. She is sad. They were in the capital. Right? That's why it is simple. Present simple or past simple. Okay. But we can also use the verb to be, to talk, or to refer to the present progressive or past progressive. Present continuous or past continuous. Continuous and progressive es lo mismo. Right? Progressive, continuous. Present progressive or continuous or past progressive and continuous. ¿Qué característica tiene el present progressive o, o el present continuous? All right, it has the verb to be en presente, en su forma presente, pero tiene otro verbo con ing. Para decir, María is playing the guitar, uh, Jorge is watching a movie, uh, Emma is studying English, uh, Hernán is working in, in, with rice, uh, all right, and, and etc. Right? That is present progressive. It is present because the, the verb to be is in present, and it is continuous or progressive because we have ing in the other verb. Okay, in the past, they were studying French. Right? Ellos estaban estudiando. O sea, aquí está. Es una acción que está pasando en estos momentos, y aquí es una acción que estaba pasando en algún tiempo en el pasado. They were studying French. Okay, Pamela was uh, cleaning the house. All right, etc., etc., etc. All right. Character characteristics: They do not. Uh, I mean, the verb to be does not need an auxiliary. En algún momento les dije, y si no lo, lo veremos en algún video futuro, que all the verbs, todos los verbos, in negative and questions. In este tiempo, present simple or past simple need an auxiliary, right? Cuando usted quiere decir algo negative o cuando usted quiere hacer una pregunta utilizando cualquier verbo en presente simple o en pasado simple, you need an auxiliary. ¿Cuál auxiliary? Well, in present we have do or does. Esto lo veremos más detenidamente en algún momento. Do or does. And in past we only have one, which is did. Okay. ¿Qué pasa con el verbo to be? El verbo to be no necesita do, does, did Porque él es auxiliar en sí mismo Él se auxilia a sí mismo So the verb to be doesn't need it Doesn't need the auxiliary Right? That's why the, the verb to be is so extraordinary Alright? Okay? That's basically the most important That's basically the most important about the verb to be Okay, now let's finish doing some activities. Okay, you have to do these activities. Okay, you have to write 10 sentences using the verb to be in present. Right? Escriban 10 oraciones utilizando el verbo to be en presente. Puede utilizar el presente simple o puede utilizar el presente continuo. Haga 5 de presente simple y 5 de presente progresivo. Ok, and then you're going to do the same with the past. You're going to write 10 sentences using the verb to be but in past. Once again, you can use the past simple or you can use the past progressive. Ok, una vez que escribe las oraciones, me las pasa al correo eh, o las, las, las comparte en lore.com. Uh, well, so that's it. Basically, that's it. Thank you very much for paying attention. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, for me, it is a privilege to be your teacher in the self-English program. I am so happy and uh, I am very excited about this, this new adventure. So, God bless you, have a good day, and I will see you pretty soon. Bye-bye.